This organic chemistry video brief covers electron movement using curved arrows. First, let's examine the standard acid-base reaction of HCl and NaOH. Remember, in organic chemistry, electrons do all the work. Okay? In polar mechanisms, electrons move from a negative or partially negative atom towards a positive or partially positive atom. In polar mechanisms, electrons move as pairs. Double-headed arrows are used to show the movement of two electrons. The back of the arrow shows where the electrons start, and the head of the arrow shows where they go. As electrons go in, electrons between the bond of hydrogen and chlorine must therefore move out. When we write the products, we only show the movement of electrons. We do not show the movement of atoms using arrows. Notice the two lone pairs on oxygen are still present. The third lone pair is now existing in the bond between oxygen and hydrogen. Chlorine has now picked up another lone pair, and we always show all electrons. Remember, the rules for Lewis structures always apply. Keep in mind the octet rule and formal charges. All the electrons on the left side of the equation must also be on the right side of the equation. Let's consider a hydroxide ion reacting with bromomethane. Bromine is electronegative puts a partial positive charge in the carbon atom, we've got a negative charge in the oxygen. Electrons move, a lone pair of electrons move from the oxygen to the carbon atom. And remember, there are consequences. Keep in mind the octet rule. As two electrons move into the carbon atom, which already has eight electrons, electrons must therefore move out from the carbon atom. Electrons from the bond between carbon and bromine move to the bromine atom. Again, when we rewrite the product, we simply show the electrons that have moved. We show that a pair of electrons has now formed a new bond with the carbon atom, and the bromine atom has moved off. Three lone pair that were there are still there, the new lone pair, and we include formal charges. Again, total electrons on the left equals the total electrons on the right. When an alkene reacts with HBr, Electrons from the pi bond or double bond pick up a proton. Electrons move out, electrons move over to bromine. Always show all electrons. When we write the product, we need to show the bond between the two hydrogens and the bond between the new hydrogen atom. And we show bromine with the, ad the electrons that it left with. Now we must also keep in mind the consequences of the reaction. Electrons moved from the pi bond to pick up the proton. As electrons are still associated with this second carbon atom, they are no longer associated with the first carbon atom. This therefore leaves us with a positive charge on the carbon atom. Again, electrons on the left equal electrons on the right. Lastly, let's consider ammonia reacting with formaldehyde. Again, always show all electrons. There are two lone pair on a carbonyl group, carbon double bonded to oxygen. 
electrons from the amine, attack the carbon atom. Electrons move in, therefore electrons move out. We rewrite it. Nitrogen is still bound to the three original hydrogen atoms and now has a new bond associated with the carbon atom. We now have a negative charge on the oxygen and a positive charge on the nitrogen. Always double check formal charges on the atoms. Again, total charge on the left equals total charge on the right. Neutral, positive and negative, make the right side neutral as well.